Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we're going to be talking about the comments that you guys are leaving in the comment section under all of my AMD videos. So I just got back from shopping with the wife, came home, and I, and I was reading some of your guys' comments and I keep seeing this like, you're making the same videos over and over again or you're 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 being too mean to Nvidia or 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 AMD's trash or just just whatever you guys decide to swing by and type up on the keyboard and stuff before before running off to do whatever it else you, it is you guys do. But when you're a content creator like myself and you are talking about a product and you're 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 making content about it, those kind of things like it does it does start to wear on you. It really does start to wear on you because I because I get it. Like I understand that people are probably like, "Dude, you're making the same video again and again and again." Well, let me explain why. I have a smaller channel. Uh, I don't have the the reach that Digital Foundry or um, Gamers Nexus or Linus Tech Tips or even um, Daniel Owens or any of these other guys have. Like I don't have that reach, so I do feel. Like I have to, you know, kind of use some of the stuff that I use in those other videos when I'm trying to get the views for this product because I think it's awesome. And in a minute, I'll tell you exactly why. Um, in, in a minute, I'll tell you why we, we keep making these videos. <clears throat> I I think this. I I, I kind of do have to use um, some of that same content over and over and over again, you know, because I'm trying to get views. I'm trying to 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 help people decide you know if if there if, if amd is going to be a good product for him now let me take a step back and and let me tell you a little bit about the situation i was in with that 3080 and and i was starting to feel like the longevity of that card just wasn't gonna just wasn't gonna do it anymore um i, I felt like the channel was growing much faster than that card was ever going to grow with it and now that i've now that i've had the the 7900 xt for for almost 70 for, for like 70 days now um, I've put, I, I've been doing 4K content now. I've been putting up 4K content. I've been, I've been able to play and enjoy my games at 4K. I've been able to, to, to really enjoy, you know, actually getting in there and learning more about PC, being able to, uh, being able to have like, a, um, the adrenaline software that, that makes it easier for you to get in there and try things and set things up. I, I've, I've had a lot more fun and it's been a better um, a better overall experience with the AMD products that when when I see your guys's comments guys when I when I see that that salty stuff and and, and I know and I and I know that like I I know that I know that freaking social media and stuff is 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 completely different than than like how you would talk to somebody in real life like I I I, under, I, I get that and I understand that and and I know that like there's just so much of it out there that everybody's got like this this like brand or you know they're they, they're like always quick to to defend their side or whatever else like i like i get it man i do the same thing i i fall into the same you know the, the same little traps every once in a while but i mean with me with that 3080 man like not feeling like it was gonna like it was gonna meet the growth of this channel and then looking at the budget that I had, that I had, I, I, I put like this uh, this imaginary budget on on like PC graphics cards, uh, you know, to, to kind of keep myself in check. And I and I need you to understand this. Like I I, I didn't want to go over like an eight hundred dollar budget for a card. Like like I put like a, I put like a hard like a like a drone I drawn like a hard line in the sand for that. <clears throat> and and I was like, man, I I don't want to go over eight hundred dollars. And I knew I was going to have to upgrade that card. But if you look at it, and you look at the two options that I had at that price range, I had the forty seventy Ti, or I had the seventy nine hundred XT. Looking at the looking at the forty seventy Ti, this this was my train of thought. Okay, man, like the thirty eighty has a three hundred and twenty bit bus. The 4070 has an hundred, like a like a 256 or a 192 or whatever whatever it is. Like it's it's not even in the same part as the as the bit uh, as the bus rate. And then it's only got two gigs more of VRAM, like two gigs. And I, and I was already playing games, you know, that were <clears throat> that were pushing up there close to 12 and and, and and like starting to stutter out on that on that 3080. And so I'm just like, oh gosh, man. 
and, and I'm not even going to lie, I almost pulled the trigger on the 4070 Ti. Like, I almost pulled the trigger on that being like, nah, man, I ain't even going to look at AMD. I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to worry about that. And then Sev, you know, from our community was like, oh, man, I just bought a, a 7900 XDX or something. And then, I, and then that got me thinking. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, like AMD really did. Say, I mean, like there's two plugs. I, and that was that was another thing, too, because my my uh, my my uh, my my pre-built only had two eight pins. So like seriously, 800 bucks. And I, and I was already tapped out with with my two eight pins. So it was either AMD or or the. Uh, or the uh, or the or, or the or the 4070 Ti, like those were my only options. There, there, there really wasn't actually. I don't even think the 4070 Ti was going to be a was going to be able to work with that. I think I think I would have gotten stuck with the 4070. 4070. Um, if if I come to think about it, I think the 47. I think the 4070 Ti is three eight pin. So yeah, dude, I would have been at a 4070. Now now, if you look at that. And then you you compare that to anybody else's situation out there that, that is meeting the same problem that I was with the 3080 and and wanting to be able to, to push that card out a little longer. And, and now that we're starting to get these next gen games and they're just not able to really do that where where, where they where they had imagined or where, where they where they thought they would be with that card. You're asking these people to put their money out there on another product. And say say their their situation you know is kind of like mine where like eight hundred bucks is their max. Uh, you're asking them to uh, you're asking them to go with a forty seventy Ti when they can get a seventy nine hundred XT that will more than easily be a better card for them long term than that than that forty seventy Ti. And there's there's so much negativity out there about AMD. I mean, if you take Alex, if you take Digital Foundry, Alex Battaglia today, we, we sat and did this on the live stream. We were talking about his, his optimized settings for Starfield. And this dude spent most of the time kicking AMD's FSR2 and trying to hold DLSS up on this pedestal. And like we were going through it and we were just stopping and we were looking at like the difference overall. And I was just like, I was just like, really, man? You're you're gonna kick FSR two on a game that I've been playing for for like the last ten days, and I think it's absolutely beautiful on my seventy nine hundred XT, and I'm not noticing the stuff that you're going out of your way to zoom in sixty seven percent to show people to try to upsell them on an Nvidia graphics card. This guy was more concerned with with uh, with the Nvidia thing than he was about even about even covering this game there is so much cool stuff in 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 starfield that this dude spent 30 minutes going on and on and on about how dls is this dls is that <clears throat> trying to point out and, and show you like the difference and you're looking at it and you're like you're like i'm sitting there scratching my head thinking like I'm like, dude, that's really not that big of a difference, man. Like, that that doesn't even matter. 90, 99% of the time, the stuff that you're pointing out has no effect on the gameplay. Minim, minimal, minimal effect on the overall visual quality from what I've played. Like, yeah, dude, you can't see that. Like, it, you have to zoom in 67% to see what he's talking about. You're probably not going to notice that in your normal gameplay. So when I see that... And I, and I see this, you, you know, like this this overall negativity always faced towards AMD. I do. I make more videos. I make extra videos because more people need to see this. I don't. I don't have the same reach. I don't. I don't have the same reach as a lot of these guys. So so I do make the same the same content. Maybe not the exact same content, but it it always you know kind of generalized. It, it always kind of you know comes out and maybe feels the same. But you know, maybe just the, the maybe maybe I should just start changing the name of, of my videos like every every other day or something. But you know, YouTube and their algorithm, you know, once they kind of die off, they kind of die off or whatever. So I feel like I got to make another one, man. I, I want people to know that, like, hey, man, AMD is definitely worth checking out this generation. It is not as far the the gap is not as big as you think it is. Like it is not that big anymore. So, especially especially in the price range, 
If you if your budget is eight hundred bucks, AMD is the is the one hundred percent winner for your eight hundred dollars. You must consider AMD if your if your budget's eight hundred dollars. So, all right, my friends, thank you for watching. Thank you for your patience. Um, I do appreciate you watching those videos. So, uh, hopefully, you guys watch this one, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for thanks for uh, thanks for supporting the channel.